Hello, Tim again. Uh, today I want to cover some of the first module uh, content items. So in the course Digital Portfolio, HCS 5601, we've got the Canvas homepage. Uh, be sure to check announcements. Uh, you'll also see the uh, what's to do and what's coming up. Uh, let's go into modules. Modules or Canvas is the Canvas way to organize content. Uh, think of them as lecture pages, uh, but more importantly, they are, in my case, uh, resources that we'll utilize to build the portfolio project. In the first module, portfolios, uh, we've got the case, we've got the item making the case for portfolios. I use web pages uh, primarily uh, in addition to websites um, as how we will deliver content. <clears throat> There'll be very few, if any, PowerPoint presentations. Uh, this is written for the employer. This is a document that uh, Portfolium prepared. But students take notice because this is what employers are being told is the value of Portfolium as well as uh, what can students learn uh, when they hear that conversation is going on. And so what this story is talking about is the idea of work samples. Uh, when you're an employee and you have an internship with a company, that's a great opportunity for others at the company to see you um, good days, bad days, long days, hot days, whatever the case may be, pressure uh, of a deadline. Uh, and, and it's a great way to see your work sample in real life. Uh, nothing better than that. But when you're communicating at a distance, they can't see your work samples. They can't see you work uh, on a deadline. And so uh, what we want to do then is to use the portfolio to fill in the gaps. Uh, portfolio uh, for a uh, manager uh, in terms of reviewing your skills uh, just adds more to the story because you can direct the conversation. You can indicate what items to look at as well as um, a take on a story that maybe they didn't know about. Uh, you were successfully planning the event. They show, the manager showed up and saw the event but didn't know about the planning that went on behind the scenes. Now, with Portfolium, we're going to be working with NACE Career Skills. Uh, NACE is the National Association of Colleges and Employers, a very relevant uh, organization for college students uh, in terms of the Career Services Center. This is the professional society that your uh, college career center would be belonging to. And so what we're looking at then is competencies. Uh, career readiness skills uh, or competencies uh, is a primary ingredient for employers to look at when reviewing your work samples and your work skills. The resume is a nice listing of places you've worked, places you've gone to school, but it's the skills that you bring to a company that will have to come out in the interview because there's not always an opportunity to present those skills in the resume. You have job description, but you don't have skills. Skills cross over, uh, in some cases, multiple jobs. And so the skills that we'll be working with, critical thinking, problem solving, oral written communications, and I would add visual communications in there as well, teamwork, collaboration, information technology application, leadership, professionalism, work ethic, and career management. These are the important career skills that the course and the portfolio is going to focus around. And so in terms of the uh, what we're doing with the portfolio, it's really this, making the case for portfolios that they fill in the gap, they tell the story, they provide the work samples of places you've been, things you've done that a resume isn't able to do. Now in the next module, this is a homepage that I made for the College of Food Ag and Environmental Sciences in the career section, careers section of the college website under student resources. And so what we have is we have Portfolium College of Food Ag and Environmental Sciences network. And so we are part of a network 
uh, with many other institutions. Uh, Portfolium.com, uh, if you go slash discover, is a great way to uh, get to know uh, through searching for students or searching through other networks of who's on the system. Now, in terms of getting started, if you uh, signed up with Portfolio last spring semester, uh, you're on board and you're ready to go. If you did not sign up, there's a notice, a, a click here on this site. And so what we'll do here is to log in or you can join. If you didn't join before, you can join now. <clears throat> but remember, the important thing is that we're using osu.edu emails. Not Buckeye Mail, but osu.edu. So for me to log in, rotus.1 at osu.edu. Continue, and very important here, notice this OSU account login. We've set that up so that all students can log in, don't have to create a new password or a new username uh, directly with Shibboleth, the university's uh, authentication system. So at this point, I'm in my profile. I'm looking around uh, in terms of the um, look and layout of my portfolio. I click on Tim Rodas uh, picture, and you'll see here that I'm in edit mode and I'm looking at things like add certifications, add volunteer work, but I'm in the profile section. And profile, think of that as a resume uh, timeline combined so that it tells the story of where you've worked, where you've gone to school, uh, courses that you've taken, and uh, many other skills, uh, uh, many other areas uh, to your resume. We'll talk about skills. These are those skills that I mentioned earlier. Uh, stories, uh, the work samples are linked to skills. Uh, resume is attached right here. Pencil means I can uh, edit that resume or the arrow means I uh, can download. Now you have to be logged in to Portfolio in order to download a resume. And so what we were doing here then is logging in or creating the account. Once we have the account using your osu.edu name.n number, um, you're free to start editing on your profile. Uh, editing is right in front of you in terms of the logging in. Uh, the profile, if I want to edit this overview section or if I want to add a certificate, uh, add athletics, uh, I've already got introduction, work experience, associate professor, assistant professor. This is that timeline idea. And so with each one of these, I can add or attach work. I can add a description. And description is going to be important that we do add a description for each assignment, for each uh, place that you've worked, as well as courses in terms of at Ohio State, but courses. And so part of the getting started assignment is to add three courses and put a description next to each one of them, we'll then be coming back uh, with a follow-up assignment looking at loading up uh, work samples uh, to the uh, courses. But be sure to put a course title and a course description. I'm gonna go back to modules now because with the portfolio link here from the College Ag Network, uh, we have some other resources that are uh, available on that college page that uh, is important to see. And that was the wrong link. And so from the college page, we scroll down. And these are questions relative to your use, use of portfolio. And why are we doing this? It's important uh, that uh, I be able to explain this to you. Uh, in some sense, I'm using LinkedIn, this first question, why do I need portfolio? Uh, that's a, a, a good question and it's an appropriate question because using LinkedIn is a very professional network uh, with many industries and many managers uh, using it. Portfolio is the place where you can tell the rest of the story, meaning that you can add multimedia, meaning that you can uh, go into greater depth, meaning that you can use the skills, it's not, uh, the focus isn't on work experience exclusively. Uh, it's the, the rest of the student, the, the rest of your uh, uh, background. 
that can come out in a portfolio product, as well as it keeps growing over time. Another question I've uh, had uh, regarding this is no one has ever asked me for a portfolio. So why do I need one? Valid question again. Uh, I would say practice makes perfect. The idea of preparation. Uh, putting the portfolio together, uh, the small number of assignments that we'll be uh, putting into the portfolio will have a very good start. We'll have the profile, we'll have a resume, we'll have work samples, and we'll have skills. That's a great start. You're a leg up on the competition, I guarantee you that. Uh, you definitely have thought about and have uh, assembled these experiences from the past, assignments from the past. You can share them directly with people uh, via an iPad. You can walk into an interview and you can share it directly from your iPad. You could uh, send people uh, the link to your portfolio. It just allows you to be ready uh, to tell the story and to then um, expand your opportunities. Uh, first job uh, will often lead to other opportunities. This sounds like a lot of work. How do I include samples of my work when I don't have any saved? And so three ways to include samples, uh, meaning start now. One way is to just Start now. Think about course assignments this semester, looking at course assignments that you think would be valuable and helpful, uh, and also uh, relate to the career path that you're setting out for yourself. Consider getting involved in a professional association. Uh, joining American Society for Horticulture Science, that's free. I have uh, postings on my door to uh, join the society. Doesn't cost anything. Uh, consider volunteering. And so the idea is to make your stories. How do I get started? Just start making stories in the sense of observing what you're uh, about. Are employers really using Portfolium? Uh, yes, and we will see increased use of Portfolium. Uh, the college has a database and a uh, service uh, for all employers to utilize when they come to interview on campus. And this is uh, an additional uh, service that they can view more about you, uh, more than just a resume. And uh, it's also a great opportunity when they're not available to come to campus. Check out this video here, Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, this is all about portfolio, uh, setting up profile, setting up uh, and the, the settings for the program. The introduction, I've, I've broken out the uh, timeline here, exploring networks, uh, viewing student portfolios, viewing student profile, editing a profile. These are the go-to, this is the great video that you want to use. I've also provided additional resources with how-to guides for students and alumni, educators, employers, and portfolio fact sheets. Our next module is creating the portfolio account, or the next item in our module. And what I did was to go through and just capture the screenshots as you walk through creating your account. It's very simple. Uh, remember, use your osu.edu name.n whenever you log into Portfolium. And now you'll be able to uh, set up your uh, profile and then to uh, start editing. Like I said, it begins and ends with students relative to the using LinkedIn, using Portfolio. Uh, it's a great package. We make it available uh, for students to use. And this course is just a, uh, a small way to uh, get you up and running. With that, I'll stop on module one. There's additional resources, some great additional guides, uh, additional pieces to think about. Uh, in terms of the Mod 1 resources. I'll be back to talk about the Mod 1 homework assignment. Thank you.